like they're really uh, effective from start to finish. So. And then they were doubling, they are doubling Mondo a lot in, yep. in the first half. Mm -hmm. But then once you guys started having success from the perimeter, yeah. it was tougher for them to do that. Yeah. 100%. Um, I think we kind of figured out that they're going to double Mondo every time in the post. And just kind of like let it get to the feel of the game. Don't try to force anything. And that's what he did. He was able to kick it out. Where to me, and it was going from good to great shot. So um, we kind of just figured it out the whole thing out along the way. You mentioned the threes. Is your finger feeling about the level it was before the Syracuse game? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to be a nagging thing. Uh, but, you know, I'm good. I'm a tough kid. You guys have had an interesting week. Uh, yeah. You were just talking to Caleb about the tweet he put out the other day. He said he reached out to you and mm -hmm. make sure it was kosher with you, and then you retweeted it immediately. How important was it for you guys to say something and use that platform to kind of mm -hmm. let people know that the, there is no friction between yeah. you, which was obviously the point of the tweet to, yeah. because of all the rumors going on? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the whole time that was going on, like we weren't paying attention at all because we knew that it wasn't true at all. I feel like people were just trying to put this narrative out there and – voice their opinions, just trying to stir things up uh, because of the way we were playing. Um, but me and him were going that end, and I felt like that tweet kind of just, you know, just putting it out there that we're good. Because, you know, a lot of people, you know, look at social media and they run straight to it and they believe anything that's said on it. So um, I feel like, you know, him to put it out there and just, like, get it out there like, that we're good. Um, you know, people are always going to have their opinions and whatnot. But um, we were more than fine. Uh, and that didn't affect us at all. Do you think it accomplished what you guys wanted it to? I mean, well, in terms of what the tweet. Just, just the feedback. I'm sure you got. I'm sure that thing went crazy when you tweeted yeah. that, and then you retweeted with a comment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, I felt like it, it did uh, accomplish things and just clear up the 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 air. Um, you know, it could have been we could have went about it and not say anything, um, and just you know, and just play basketball like we did today. Um, but you know, the thing kind of just putting it out there just kind of cleared things up a little bit you know, from you know, our side and for days or side. One of the realities, you guys are winning, it doesn't take off like that. There's probably <laughs> yeah. no need to do that. So yeah. it's amazing the fine line between the way people react to you guys, mm -hmm. winning versus not winning. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy just like how this whole world is and um, what's said and whatnot. But, you know, we're, men we're a mentally tough team to, and we're mentally tough and we know each other well enough to know that we're not going to let that impact us and try to let things stir up in the locker room because of what TikTok says, Twitter yeah. says. Yeah. Like, that doesn't affect us at all. So, um, yeah. As far as today goes, how much fun was this just getting out there and just playing hoops like that? I mean, it was really fun. Just to not only we were happy for um, our own success, but we was happy for each other's. You know, just to see you know going from good to great shots and then everyone smiling, getting down transition. Uh, I think one time I hit Leaky for a, a, a layup and. Uh, we both were smiling at the same time. So little stuff like that. You just saw how much fun we had. Um, you know, super excited. So we got to keep this thing going. One last question. We, speaking it, of Leakey, we've asked you about oh. Leakey's defense for three years since you've been yeah. here. Tyson had two shot attempts today. Mm -hmm. Nothing in the second half. Yep. I mean, that, that's about as good a defense as Leakey's. But he wouldn't let them get in touch. Yeah, I mean, Leakey, yeah, no, we gotta get, I feel like Leakey doesn't get enough props um, for what he's he's been doing all year. Uh, we gotta give his flowers to him. The way he impacts us as a team, he's like the X factor. Uh, the way he goes out every day, throws his body out there for us, sacrifices, plays defense, um, and for him to be have a phenomenal impact on you know Tyson, uh, who's a great player. But for him just to uh, you know just be the defender that we know we, he is, you know, you know I'm super happy for him. Um, that's a great teammate to have. Like oh, like he's just the type of player that's always gonna play hard and practice the game. Um, and, you know, uh, it's very fortunate to have him, you know, love having Leaky, love playing with him. Cool, thanks. A lot of expectation, doubts, you know, naysayers, uh, just a lot of outside noise has been kind of just weighing on us. And he said he just wants us to relax, play freely, have fun, kind of just take that weight off our shoulders. Does it help that you're a veteran team that, 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 that can get through stuff like that? I mean, 100%. But also, I think to voice our opinions and go around the whole room and just to see it, just to see and hear everyone speak about it um, in terms of like how they're feeling and um, where we could go with this team. Um, I think that helped a lot too. Um, you know, a veteran group, but we also have some, you know, new kids, um, kind of just chemistry, but I feel like we really, uh, the chemistry was there today. And when you have a meeting like that and, and, and air out a game like this last, like where you were sharing, where everybody was kind of carefree, where mm -hmm. it seemed fun again. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, that was the first thing Coach Davis said when we walked into the locker room. He said, someone said to him walking in, like, this team looks like they're having a lot of fun. And that's something that uh, we have to continue to carry on because, you know, that's all of our personalities. We love to have fun. We do love every time we step onto that floor, especially in this building in front of our fans. Um, we know it's going to be a lot of fun. So just keeping that in the back of our mind, um, just to continue to progress throughout the season, um, I feel like you know, we'll be really good. When you clear the air like that, it can go one or two ways, and, and apparently it went in a positive way for you guys. you got to feel good about that. Yeah, 100%. I mean, within the locker room and – Within the locker room, we knew whatever what was going on. It was just a lot of like frustration. A lot of people just trying to create narratives and put out their own opinion. But we knew that it wasn't true, so it didn't phase us at all. Um, and I think that's what uh, we had two great practices, which led into our performance today as well. So. Caleb said you uh, called a players meeting, you let it. Yeah. What was kind of the goal there, and what did you say? Or if you want, whatever you want to feel comfortable. Yeah. So um, I called the, the players meeting. Um, I think it was it was right after it was Monday's practice. Um, Armando yeah. says Thursday. Was it Thursday? What's today? I'm Today's sorry. Saturday. Saturday. Today. You lost. You lost the way. Track of days. <laughs> I got the track of days. I think Tuesday. it might have been Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Thursday. You lost so the way Thursday. Tuesday, right? Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Team meeting. I call it team meeting on Thursday. Yeah. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I got you. <laughs> um, Assist. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. So basically, I said I called the team meeting just, you know, for everyone to be authentic and vulnerable during this time and just they voice whatever they got on their minds. Don't hold anything back. And I felt like it was really good because we went around the room um, and just, you know, said, you know, whatever's on their mind, how they're feeling. Uh, just like kind of opened up and let our walls down. And I felt like once we were able to do that, and just just to hear you know personal stories and uh, how we see the season, and I think it really brought us together. Um, I, and I was super happy with it because uh, you kind of felt like the energy there it brought us together. And uh, we went into the next day of practice. It was good. Everyone's laughing, joking. Um, we had a, a little team dinner um, and play some card games and Madden uh, the next day at Dewey's house. Um, so, like, little stuff like that really just, you know, you know make it happen. Why did it take so long for something like that to happen? Um, I mean, we've been having these meetings. I think it was just more so, I don't think we've been having it the right way. Just trying to figure out, I think... <clears throat> We've been having meetings about like just trying to see what was wrong with the with the team and how we can build our chemistry. But I think it was more so just letting our guard down, letting our walls down, and just like letting each other in into you know our, our brain. You can I feel like if you're being vulnerable and letting the team know how you feel and like you know what you're dealing with, and then that kind of helps. You know, it makes me want to help Kate, it makes me want to help Mondo, and then vice versa. So little things like that. What were do people yell? No, nah, not at all. It was no yelling at all. Um, Cry? Uh, I'm not going to speak on that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yes? Um, <laughs> it was more so just like, it was just great energy. Um, uplifting, uh, positive. Um, and that was something that we definitely needed. What, what made you want to do that? You. What, what, what were you feeling that said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this again? I just felt like me as a you know, leader of this team and just being able to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, you know, I think for the most part, you know, I'm a big energy guy and I'm always smiling, laughing. And I bring up, like, and I always say I have a good spirit about myself. So I felt like um, that just needed to be happen. Um, it needed to be done rather than just, you know, you could yell all the time. You could go out there and practice and just yell at each other and just try to, like, kill each other in practice. But sometimes like, you got to take a step back a little bit and a different approach, and that's what I felt like I had to do. Did you tell Hubert that you were calling a meeting afterward, or was it something just No, nah, something, something just strictly – it was just players only. It was the players only meeting, no coaches, no managers. Um, it was just us in that locker room. But I assume he, he knows about it now, right? Oh, yeah, he knew about it, yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. RJ, I thought you guys looked a lot more. You might disagree with this, but I thought you guys looked a lot more loose in, in warm-ups today. Yeah. And you kind of talked about next day's practice a little bit more, you know, kind of laughing, having fun. Did, mm -hmm. did you notice that warm-ups today? And you think that maybe is like a byproduct of the t players only meeting and kind of what happened over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think we just fixed our spirit. Mm -hmm. um, especially with everything was going on, we was losing. And just, you know, you always you just hear it. You, either you see it or you hear just the noise going around around you. And we just had, like, a, a great spirit about some warm-ups. And I felt like that kind of, like, led us into the game. And we also, we had two great practices that really got us, you know, to be confident, mm -hmm. um, leaned up into the game, and just to go out there and play freely. Um, 
and you know, Coach Davis was saying like how a half court, our half court shots, you can see all of us just laughing and excited when we can do it. He said that's how and free, and that's how he wants us to play. Um, I'm sorry if you covered this already, but I understand that you, you. Yep. you were the one who called you. the players only meeting. Why yep. did you do it, and how do you think it went?